So to begin with, uh, thank you so much for giving me and my team this opportunity to be part of this short documentary come short film because uh, for us also it was quite informative, uh, extremely educated. So to cover this concept, uh, you could have gone to so many people, different, uh, so many stories are out there. Why specifically these two uh, brothers, Shopper 52, why just them? Yeah, so, you know, it's safe to expect that some of the big sharks will survive the pandemic. But what's interesting about Shopper 52 is that they have a really humble origin story. They started off with almost nothing over 10 years ago. And so I really wanted to see what it was like for this business, which started off really small, not many resources, and to see if they were able to survive the pandemic as well as the other big sharks. Shall we begin? Basically, this business it is like multi-category business. We have grown up with short two categories. Like now, we are covering like 20 to 25 categories. It is a huge success for us. We have developed a lot develop and with our hard work last 12 years, 10 to 12 years. So basically, we home kitchen, hardware, home appliances, then uh, car accessories, grooming, grooming etc. We have covered the product lines. So we have thought that e-commerce to use in one house. Ke so this is the best part of e-commerce. We have uh, three warehouses now, currently which we are shooting here in Sivdi, then one in Mazib and one in Bhivandi. 15,000 square feet of area which we are using right now. One more thing that intrigues me a lot is their background where they come from. It's so cool. And the story is even cooler. Yeah, they actually belong to a really modest background, so it must have taken a lot of courage to get into a business like e-commerce, which 10 years ago was a choice that not many would make. But to me, it seems that maybe their courage and the resilience came through the odd jobs that they had throughout their years leading up to their time at Chopper 52. We both were from middle, lower, caste family so it was really difficult for us to survive or hum, personally my mother was working my dad was taxi driver then we used to work for garments factory stitching clothes then compounder I have been I have been to CS firm also and many more I don't remember you've done everything few, almost. almost all categories I have literally I have done the glass cutting job also and I hurt myself many times. I was in Kuwait for 2005 till 2010. So there, were, there I was like uh, doing job under import and export firm. But I was not uh, that satis satisfied by the job. So I thought ke it is not making me that much money which I needed. Start kya in log ne? Ten years back, eleven years back, almost more than a decade. What made them start this e-commerce thing? It wasn't even a thing at that time. Yeah, they actually have a really interesting story for this. Have you heard of the word serendipity? One of my friend, close friend, is in UK. When I used to chat with uh, him, he used to tell me like, I need to shop bread. So I told, where are you going? I will buy online. And this guy was baffled that over a decade ago, while everyone else was out in the market or the mall to buy every single item that they needed to buy, his friend was just sitting on his couch ordering bread online. So research states that in 2011, about 3,300 Indian cities were involved in online shopping, while the total consumer base was 125 million. 
and this is the potential that these modest businessmen saw and capitalized on during their inception. This is something next level and it's definitely going to affect India and India is a huge populated country. So that's why my vision was like we should develop in this field and e-commerce is the future of India. Our motto is to ship the product same day. That's the main, that's the main purpose, main purpose of purpose We are uh, competing other sellers that we are never delaying our shipment. From initially day one till today, we have never breached our shipments or orders. So that's the main point that account managers or different different porters are uh, contacting us and uh, giving our name as a priority seller to another uh, managers at all. देश आज एक महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय करने जा रहा है आज रात 12 बजे से घरों से बाहर निकलने पर पूरी तरह पाबंदी लगाई जा रही है यू नो ऑलमोस्ट 10000 बिजनेसेस शट डाउन वॉलंटरीली ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक व्हाइल इन द फोर्थ क्वार्टर ऑफ द सेम ईयर द ई-कॉमर्स सेक्टर सॉ अ ग्रोथ ऑफ 36% इन इंडिया To be precise, PCB&W and FMCG and healthcare categories volumes grew by 95 and 46 year on year respectively. And so, how did the COVID-19 pandemic affect the e-commerce growth? Actually, the whole market of the world has affected by COVID-19. When the world was crumbling, these guys were uh, for our company we can say we have alhamdulillah good orders in this pandemic also and we are surviving and without any issues with our business the pandemic to aisa tha ke mere ko lagta hai ki for e-commerce it's a boom there is no drawback for e-commerce in pandemic because whole world is shifted to online बाहर मंदिर जाते थे वो करने जाते थे लौटते हुए दूध लेके आते थे ब्रेड लेके आते थे सब्जियां लेके आते थे सब बंद हो गया अभी क्या करें बड़ी परेशानी हो गई तो मेरे बेटे ने बताया कि ये है मोबाइल और इस पर ये ऐप इन पर ऑनलाइन ऑर्डर करो अगले दिन सारी चीजें घर पे आ गई लॉकडाउन की वजह से अनाज सब्जी खरीद करने को बहुत तकलीफ होता था मोबाइल पे आज ऑर्डर कर दो कल पहुँच जाता है मैनी ऑनलाइन फॉर्म है न्यू एप्स to compensate the offline sale and convert it to online they quickly identified the trend of their consumers demand and the general change in consumer behavior owing to covid-19 and they started focusing more on products that were required more due to the covid-19 pandemic we had some specific products which were very useful in pandemic like grooming Work from home, laptop table was the <laughs> we got really good orders in that. Looking forward, as per a report by Ernst and Young, the Indian e-commerce industry is expected to grow up to seven trillion in 2023, which is growing at a 20% CAGR in the period of 2019 to 2023. So one question that wasn't part of my original list, but I thought of just based on the answers I was getting from you guys. is what is the message or like what is one thing you would like to tell the world about what it takes to get to the position you're in and do you have an example of that business starting is a risk obviously but unless you take a risk you cannot succeed and be consistent enough on that same path you cannot uh, make money in one day <laughs> we it, it took us 5 years to struggle like this now we are like a boss i would say but no not a boss but still <laughs> today if we see our past it was we didn't deserve that past but now we are building better future for our kids you know sab kuch ek taraf you came humne film banayi concept uthaya sab kuch kiya i personally would like to know what is your take away my first reaction is just wow because you know look at them now and look at where they started 10 years ago 
Anyone who met them 10 years ago would not expect them to be where they are right now. Not me, not you, not even them. They really inspired me because of their hard work, their dedication, and their perseverance to push through all odds.